In this video, I'm going to show you how to add a non-stock item to the system. So to begin, we start at the navigator bar, Adnums, Procurement, Non-stock Procurement, Non-stock Item Master. And here we click the green Add button and we fill out a few of the details on here. So the first search field is product number, so type that in. Catalog number is always the same as the product number. So then we enter the description of what the item is. Here is where we enter our GL class code. So here we can put the unit of measure. So I've put each, you could put kilograms, liters, anything like that. And the line type is always an N. So to confirm and create our item, click the green tick and cross out. You may want to add some more information, in which case you need to go back into the item master. Once it's been created, it will give you the option to go through different tabs. So to find your item, you can either look through all of the items that are on the system by clicking the magnifying glass or type your item number, which is your product number, into this search field here. Click the magnifying glass. So you select it, go into row, item master. So through these tabs here, you can add as much information as you like. Once you've added that, you can click the green tick to confirm. So the next step that we need to do is we need to actually price the item. So we cancel out of this screen and go in back to the navigator bar, Adnums, Inventory Management, Inventory Setup, Item Master. So again, we can search for our item using product number in item number and click the search. Select our item, click Row, Cost Revisions. So in here, you can set up any costing methods that you like. The standard one that we want to use is the inventory. So both of these need to be 07. And here, we can click what we are setting 07 as. So unit cost, I'm going to put this £10. To confirm and add that, we just click the green tick. We cross out of the screen and our item has been added and it's also got a price.